What you guys got another video here for you on how to clear all the cache in Windows 11. I did one of these videos for Windows 10 many moons ago and to be honest it done pretty well so I'm not sure why I haven't made a repeat video on Windows 11. So let's go ahead and show you basically the way to go about clearing all the cache in Windows 11. So first off let's go down to the search box here open this up and you can type in here percentage temp percentage and you can push enter and you're going to see a bunch of files and folders in a temporary folder called temp and again these are temporary files that can be deleted hence the reason why they're called temp so open this up folder folder access denied that's because the folder is in use so just put the tick in the box and push continue and you can also put the tick in the box and push skip if you're having difficulty removing certain files and folders the reason why this is happening is because i'm recording my screen and the cam record to is the actual folder that it's using uh, for the capture of this video. So just clear all the data out inside there. Next up, go down to the start button, right click and click on run. And now you can type in here, temp, just like this. There's another temporary area. You can open this up and you should see something like this. Click on continue and you will see a bunch of files and folders in this area, which you can safely delete. So highlight all these files and click on uh, the recycle bin up the top here, or you can right click and click delete, or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard, whatever way you want to do it. If you see this box popping up, just put the check mark in the box and click skip. It's because these files are being used by the computer. So you can close this off once this is done. So you can see it's all been emptied out here. So let's move on to the next one, which is clearing out the downloads folder in your windows updates. So let's go ahead and right click and go file explorer or click on the file explorer then click on your c drive and then what we need to do here is go down to windows click on windows and then we can go all the way down to you see the software distribution folder so once we see software distribution click on this one and you should see a folder in here called downloads click on this one and there'll be a bunch of folders and files in here which you can delete and this will clear out all of the download section inside your software distribution so clear all this out and click delete here so once we've got all this gone let's move on to the next section next up we're going to have a look at the prefetched area so right click on the start button and click on run and type prefetch in here and then we can click ok or enter and this will take us to that location so click on ok if you see a little message on the screen just click continue and this will open up the prefetched area. Now you can highlight all of this stuff and remove this from the computer. If your software or programs need to put files back in here, it will do, but you can just remove all of this stuff, especially if you've got a pretty old installation that has software that you haven't used for a while and it's still stored in here, this will remove it all from your computer. So that's now all cleaned up and we've removed all this stuff from that area. So let's move on to the next one, which is going to the search box here and click search and we're going to type in here disk cleanup this is the windows built-in disk cleanup tool which you can use to remove a lot of uh, junk files from the computer so let's open this up and uh, inside here we're going to check mark a lot of this stuff in here to remove it from our pc so if you see recycle bin and a bunch of other areas we can clean up here temporary files if you look there, you should see the total amount of disk space that you're going to gain back, which in this case is 15.5 gigabytes of junk files that we don't need on the computer. Once you're happy with your selection, click on clean up system files, and this will take us to another area of this program. So let it run its scan and it will open up uh, an area where we can now put check marks in Windows Update Cleanup. You can see that's 8.32 gigabytes. Now, if you want to keep your rollback status for any sort of updates then remove the tick from this box here but if you want to remove all this stuff you can put the check marks inside here and it will remove all of this uh, data that is being stored on your computer so I'm going to go through and check mark all of this stuff uh, the recycle bin and everything else inside here is going to get a check mark in it and you should see a total of data that is going to be removed from your computer in this case it's 23.8 gigabytes in junk files if you see a windows.old there and you want to remove it you can do as well and click that and you should reclaim quite a bit of space back click ok and then click delete files and this will go through and delete all the files on your pc it does take a bit of time so be patient 
and let it do its thing. Once it's done, it will close down and you can continue on with the cleaning process. Okay, so now we've done that, let's click on File Explorer here. And while we're in here, we're going to go up to the three dots and click on this one. And we can then click on Options and then click on the folder options here. As you can see, there's a couple of areas down the bottom here that says Privacy. And we need to remove these ticks here because I don't want these showing up here. Click on Clear. And once that's done, it will clear all the information from there. Also, I like to have this on this PC. If you're on quick access, then I will put it on this PC. Also, while you're here, you might want to show hidden files, folders, and drives, and also remove the check mark from hide extensions for known file types. Once you've done this, click apply and OK, and we can then move on with the cleaning process. So let's go down to the start button here and right click and then click run. Inside the run box, we're going to type WS reset all one word and then click OK. This will open up a command prompt window here. And what this is going to do is clear all the uh, cache for the Windows Store. So you should see the Windows Store opening up uh, very shortly. And there we go. And that's cleared all the cache out of the Windows Store here. So anything that's uh, in there, it will remove. Once that's done, we can close that off and then go to our browser. So let's open up Edge and then go down to Settings. Inside settings, we're going to click on privacy, search and services. Click on this one here. And then from there, we're going to go down where it says clear browser data. Inside here, we should be able to clear the browser data now. Click on this one and you can see for all time. You can make it the last hour, 24 hours, but I'm going to leave this all time. And then I'm going to put the check marks in the boxes here. Now, be careful if you want to keep your passwords and signing details for sites uh, like Facebook. YouTube and other places like that, because if you check, check all and you click the clear now, it's going to remove all that from your computer. I don't have any of that stored on here, so it's OK. Next, go to Chrome, click the three dots, click settings and go over to security and privacy and do the same thing here. Basically, click on the clear browser data and you'll have the same options available in the advanced section where you can uh, do all time and remove all your information. Same applies for passwords and signing information here. If you want to keep it, then check, uncheck the cookies and also passwords. Otherwise, you will need to put that information back in and sign back into these sites. Once you're happy, click on the clear data and it will remove all the data from those locations. Let's have a look at Firefox. Go to the uh, hamburger bar and then click on this and go settings. Inside here, privacy and security. And then we can come all the way down here. And there's a bunch of areas like uh, cookies and site data. You can clear that here and click uh, clear. And once you're happy with clearing, you just click clear now. And again, you've also got some other areas here like manage cookies and site data. And also down below there, we also have some other areas which we can uh, clean up in the Firefox browser, which is down here. So let's click on history, come further down. And then when you're all the way down to history, we can click on this one and you should see clear history. And when you click on the clear history here, you'll be able to remove all of this information here by putting your check marks in the boxes and clicking OK. Again, this will apply uh, the same thing for if you do everything, it's going to basically remove all that stored information. Once that's done, let's go down to the search bar and type in here CMD and run this as administrator. Up the top, we're going to put ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And then what we're going to do is push enter and this will clear all of the uh, DNS information there and clear all the cache out there. There we go. It's resolved and cleared all the cache out. OK, we can close all of this off now and then we can go down to the start button and then click settings. So let's go to settings. Once we're inside here, we're going to go to privacy and security and then go to the area which says location in the location area come all the way down and you should see location history with a clear button click the uh, clear button and this will clear all of your location history and remove this from the computer once that's done we can close this off okay so let's now remove the cache for our gpu so right click on the start button and go run then do percentage local app data and then percentage once we've got this typed out, we can then click on OK or press Enter and it will open up the folder in that location. We need to go all the way down to where it says NVIDIA. So let's look for NVIDIA. If you're running AMD, it will be in the AMD software. 
So click on the NVIDIA folder here, and you should see DX Cache and GL Cache. This is the cache folders that you can go into and clear all the data out of here. So highlight all of this information and then click on the delete key and it will delete all this information. There's quite a bit in here. So just highlight all of this and then click on the delete key or you can hit the recycle up the top of the uh, ribbon there or you can right click and hit the recycle on there to clean this out. Also put the check mark in here and click skip for any files that won't be removed and that's because they're in use and then go into GL uh, cache and then remove these folders from here as well. You might have more on here, but I'm just going to remove this stuff by highlighting it and clicking on delete and then go to where it says this PC. Once you're in this PC here, we can then go to our new area, which is inside program uh, data. So go into program data. You should see it like a translucent color and then click on this and then look for NVIDIA and remove all of the files inside the NVIDIA folder. Just highlight all of these and do the same here and remove all of these. There we go. Once we've got these highlighted, click delete and that's done. So that's basically how you can remove all of the cache in Windows 11 manually. You can also use programs like Bleachbit or you can create yourself a batch folder that does it all for you very quickly and easily rather than going around manually doing it yourself. But Bleachbit is a pretty powerful piece of software which you can use, and I've used it many, many times before. It's a really good piece of software to have installed on your PC. It also comes in a portable format as well if you don't want to install it. Now, if you like this type of content, then head over to my YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. I've got over 2,500 videos all about building computers, fixing problems, how-to videos, product reviews, and other videos just like this one. Also, while you're there, consider subscribing and then click the bell and then click all to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to support me a bit more, you can hit the join button and I've set it up for free tiers of support. So you can choose one of these if you want to show a bit of appreciation for all the work here that I do on YouTube. And if you want to join the list on the end credits of my videos, that's the second line of support and you will be joining the list just like these awesome people here who have joined my YouTube members group. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed these types of videos. If you do, then give the video a thumbs up. Also consider joining our Discord server to join our awesome growing community. If you've got PC problems or anything like that, we can help you out over there. If you have joined my YouTube members group, let me know in the general chat there and I'll give you the correct role. Bye for now.